Welcome to Gino's Creative Cooking. Here we're gonna watch a very interesting video on how my friend makes Ethiopian bread, how they bake it. Let's watch. Uh, this is dabo. Dabo? Dabo is bread in Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, let me take the tray. And basically, it's the healthiest you can make for your own food. For, if I make this, Mm -hmm. First, you have to make the dough. It depends how how sour or how um, like soft you want it. You can uh -huh. make the dough for two hours. I think I did it this morning. And you say it's double. Double. How double do you spell it? D e b o, meaning that um, bread. And then to, oh, and then oh in okay, in the yeah. language. Okay, in the language. And we also call himbasha. Embasha. That's another region of Ethiopia, Tigray. They call it Embasha, but, uh So, why buy bread outside if you can make it at home, you know? That's it's right. It's going to last you the whole week. It lasts <laughs> me two weeks sometimes because I eat it by myself sometimes. Yeah, what's that little black dance inside? This is black seed. Oh, black seed. I okay. add black seed to give it healthy when you combine yeah. on your diet. So this is what I've never seen this uh, thing you are baking it on. Never. Yeah, and this is called metal. Um, in the, in Ethiopia, we use it for injera to make injera. Oh, this is what you use for injera. injera but yeah. injera will be thinner than that, it's right? It's thinner. It's thinner. Way thinner. But to make it the round in the circle, yeah, this is what you use. Actually, it was oh, given wow. to me by my friend because she had two. She was like, "Take it." Like great. Usually cost over a hundred dollars. Yeah, that's our culture. Yeah, wow. girl, I've never we seen bread like this. This is new to me. Yeah. 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 So what I'm gonna do right now is just leave it here for, and then it's gonna rise up a little bit. Oh, and okay. Turn it on and cook it slow. Or and you cover it after. Yeah. This so is right interesting. Now, just like that. Some people they design like they use fork to design it. Yeah. You know, I mean. For me, it doesn't wow. matter how you design it. It's how it tastes that matters. <laughs> so you make the dough like on the softer side, like yeah, a little. Mm. So you don't want it to be too hard and okay. too soft. You want a medium. And then you're gonna see it when it rise mm -hmm. again. Uh, this is its cover. We're gonna cover it, and then we're gonna okay. come back when it's ready. Okay. In an kambasha. Embasha, here we go. Okay. So, attached. so basically, you just want to make sure you look and yeah, it's good. Oh, looking good yeah. under there. Nice. So sunshine. now, if you have, I don't know, this little thin thing, spike shell. Yeah. Let's see. You wanna go in? Hmm. <laughs> That's woo. What? Wanna flip it? Flip, 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 flip in time. Flip it. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, looking. Yeah, I like the brownness. It yeah, doesn't bend. It's just nice burn. and brown. It's nice light. So what are you doing now? Now we're just gonna wait the other side to have a call. Equally like cooked because you don't want to eat dough mm -hmm. and cook. I'm just gonna cover it again, mm -hmm. give it about another 20 minutes, and then we'll wow. come back and then we'll have slice. Love it. You can have this with anything you want. You can have with egg, you can have it with honey. Back home, they eat it a lot with honey. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Right. Okay. We'll be back. We'll be back.